What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And welcome to the Cosmopolitan. checked out of Bellagio. We walked over to Cosmopolitan. Jackpot room was ready at 1130, Woo! actually like 1115. Yeah. Terrace one bedroom suite. These rooms are awesome if you've never seen one before. We're going to do a room tour later, but we are starving to death. We've got to go get some grub. Yes. Let's do it. Spicy eggplant, yeah. I got the teriyaki chicken rice bowl. You got the spicy pork you wrap. That looks great. So this is room 6983 in the Boulevard Tower. It's a terrace one bedroom suite. It's not a fountain view. The fountains are on the other side of the building, but it's still pretty sweet. As soon as you enter these rooms, you're in a spacious living room. They're seating for at least five or six people. These rooms measure 610 square feet in all. There's a separate dressing area before you enter the bedroom. This bedroom can be separated from the living room by the sliding door. And of course, on the other side of the living room is the main attraction of these rooms. It's the terrace. Not very many hotels in Las Vegas have this as an amenity. This is one of the defining features of the Cosmopolitan right here, the terrace. There's enough seating on the terrace for about three people, but you could definitely have more people out here if you wanted. And as good as the views are on this side of the building, on the other side of the building, you would have a view of the Bellagio Fountains. Adjacent to the dressing area is this bathroom, very modern, double vanity with two backlit mirrors. Off to one side is a private water closet, which is a great amenity not to be taken for granted. And on the other side is this beautiful walk-in shower. Not only do you have a shower, but you have a Japanese soaking tub with a window view. Now these suites aren't the biggest on the strip at 610 square feet, but they do offer four distinct areas, including a dressing area with a really nice closet. Some of the best robes we've had in Las Vegas, slippers as well. And on the other side of this closet, you've got these cubbies. There are no dresser drawers anywhere in this room, but the closet offers ample space for storage. Back inside the living room, you see this bar area. It's not a wet bar, there's no sink, but you do have plenty of counter space. And one of the best features of the room, a fridge for your own personal use.
If you didn't bring your own provisions, there is an overpriced mini bar in the room as well as the overpriced snacks and water bottles on the counter. The room also features this tablet that controls the entire room, including the thermostat, the drapes, the lights. The only drawback is that it's nowhere near the bed. All right, well, we've been here three nights. Let's give our overall impressions of the property. First of all, what do you think about the room? I really like the room. Uh, it's super spacious. Uh, it's nice to have a separate living area along with bedroom. And of course, the balcony is just, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's that's... awesome. It's like another room. You can go sit outside, and it's actually January 28th today, mm -hmm. and uh, it's plenty warm on yeah. that balcony. Yeah, and we're on the south side, so that we've got the sun in here. As long as the sun's up, it's coming into that balcony. Plenty warm, almost too warm at times, but that's awesome, and the room is phenomenal. So what did you think about the room? Well, I think you pretty much covered it all, except for the Japanese soaking tub. I loved that tub. I'll tell you what my favorite part of this room is. It's this right here. This is a Japanese soaking tub with a window view. Now when you get down in it, eh, you can't really see out the window, but the property overall, I think, is one of the best on the Strip. Now we'd stayed here one night before, but we didn't have a chance to really explore this property right. like we did these last three days, and it is amazing. It's, first off, it's, it's beautiful. Um, and I, we, there are so many different eating venues and bars mm -hmm. and lounges. And unfortunately, we, even though we were here for three days, we couldn't get to all of them. Well, yeah. So this property has everything and the location. Yeah, the location is, is in my opinion, just perfect. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything because there's always more for us to show you on Show Me Vegas. Bye, guys.